Hello everyone, uh, this is Tracy here, long time no see. I hope you're doing well during this pandemic. Uh, just let you know, a little update. Um, I actually posted this on several platforms here. Um, so I've been uh, working a lot uh, during this pandemic and I know some of you are unfortunate about that. But uh, yeah, so I've been helping trying to find contact tracers uh, around the East Coast uh, to help fight this pandemic. And also, uh, there have been a lot of uh, companies that are looking for diversity services uh, through uh, the HR source. So that has been pretty good. And also, we just now uh, gained a few job orders in. So that's a good thing about uh, what's going on. So I've been uh, working at home for the past six years. Um, so this is nothing new to me that I'm stuck in a house for a long time. The first two years I did work at home, uh, the 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 company was looking at you. Even if you make a movement uh, at the laptop, it will count that you're you're not doing the work, which is too creepy and weird. Uh, my current job actually gives me a lot of freedom to do what I can do. Uh, do a lot of recruiting and sourcing, and do a bunch of creative things. So I really enjoy about that for the HR source. Personally, it has been crazy uh, these days. Uh, before the pandemic, uh, in the mornings during weekends, I used to walk to the gym uh, to get uh, my cardio in, basically playing basketball and uh, doing weightlifting. And uh, that now these days I can't do that. And then I used to go to many different locations around the area, but obviously you can't do that anymore on that end. I could do exercise. The issue is that in my neighborhood, I have a bunch of kids, and then in our neighborhood, next to it, we have a Walmart and a Lidl. So it's kind of tough to get a workout in on that end. Yeah, so I used to go to a lot of networking events and sporting events, but that can't happen because, well, sports, sports rise, they can't bring in fans, and then obviously you can't bring a bunch of crowded people into a bar. I take public transportation a lot. I take the metro here or the subway if you're outside the DC metro area. And I I used to rely on that, but now with what's going on, that might take probably a year or two to get back into public transportation. And there's one silver line for this pandemic is that the metro can work on the platforms right now and work on anything they need to fix. So that's a good part about that. The reason for this video is actually uh, a very long story. Every year I have free tickets for life at the Celebrate Fairfax, which is the county festival. So last year, uh, my nephew wanted a Bulbasaur, uh, which he saw one at the carnival games. And uh, we wanted to get the Bulbasaur, especially for me, I wanted to play hoop shot where I can get those wins easily because I'm, I was a great shooter at the time. I'm not sure right now because I'm nowhere near a basketball hoop. So the reason for this video is actually I'm going into a new venture. And the reason for that is that um, and this is going to be a long story. So last year, uh, my brothers and I went to the Celebrate Fairfax, which is the county festival here. And I have free tickets for life at that event. So we go there and we had a lot of fun. And then towards the end of our run, uh, my nephew wanted a Bulbasaur because he saw a bunch of kids have uh, Bulbasaur plushes. So we were trying to find a Bulbasaur plushes. On my end, I was trying to find a hoop shot to try to get a Bulbasaur. They had none. We did eventually find it, but it was on the game, uh, the Blockbusters game. Of course, knowing that that would be very difficult. So my brother and I played for that and we spent 80 bucks and we eventually got the Bulbasaur plush for my nephew. He was very happy, but we lost 80 bucks on that sucker. So after that, uh, my my brother and I searched for uh, videos of carnival games of how to play it. We know it was rigged, but if there's any tips of playing the blockbuster game and in my end i discovered a video from rk jackpot pro uh his real name is justin 
So I saw him just playing carnival games, essentially, uh, not specific to, to blockbusters. Uh, he, he was playing a, a different assortment of games, and I thought it was cool. Um, and then uh, I was looking at his other videos, and he had it is an arcade YouTube uh, channel, and saw those uh, uh, videos and see uh, what he does, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I had a trickle down effect. So I came from arcade jackpot pro and then went to craniacs and then uh went to other arcade youtubers and especially to plush time wins and then to arcade matt and others and then i followed those people on youtube and subscribed to their channels so that prompted me to get a david buster's card at uh Felix mall which uh opened two years ago and i just recently started going last year um, and I started playing arcade games and actually have 325,000 tickets and with, uh, with, with what's going on, I, I want to go, but I really don't want to because I don't want to get anyone affected essentially with my old appearance. And then at the time I started doing, um, videos of just act being an arcade YouTuber. It wasn't very good. And have you seen the previous videos? It was basically amateurish, as you've seen. Around December, January, February, I started playing uh, online claw games. Uh, the first um, one I signed up for was Toriba, which is a Japanese uh, claw game. Uh, played a few games of that and didn't win anything and paid a little money for that. It was a bit expensive, so. And then the second, uh, Claw game I registered for was Claw Craziness. Uh, I saw Trevor's site on his YouTube channel and then wanted to sign up to see how it goes. And I find that site to be joyful and I, I love the games they played. And I still play it to this day and it's almost like an addiction to it. When the pandemic hit around March, uh, I, I decided to myself, you know what? I need to have some f f uh, fun time, so I played a lot of the online claw games, especially claw craziness. And as you see, I did win a MacBook Air, and I'll show that to you in the uh, the little cord thingy. And, and if you're on the other platforms, I'm sorry, but you can just go to my YouTube channel. You, it, it's eventually there. Anyway, so I. So I played a lot of Call of Craziness and yeah, and started playing a lot and yeah, was getting a, some prizes and then they changed the format into a ticket uh, winning format and was winning a lot of tickets at that time. This was also the same time I started winning at Toriba. Uh, I had the confidence and momentum with Call of Craziness that I could win on Toriba and did that. And I got several prizes of it, and this video of that uh, that you can see on that end. So a month ago, uh, Trevor and Carl Craziness do, was doing a social media promotion of promoting Carl Craziness, and I wanted to get free tokens. Um, and so I did Twitter post, Instagram post, and YouTube videos, essentially, of playing Carl Craziness or telling what Carl Craziness has. So I did several different videos and then on the last video on the last week of the promotion I did play by play on my place on Call Craziness and I just said to myself you know what I might want to do this as a side job uh, I got nothing else to do and I'm probably going to be stuck at home for a long time so why not do that so I'm here to tell you that I have now started a YouTube channel called Claw by Claw it is essentially play by play on arcade games and online claw games that I'm seeing. It's not my place, it's your place playing it, and uh, I just commentate on that. That's basically it. That's the premise. <laughs> There's nothing uh, uh, complicated about it. Yeah, so when I did the my own place, I just found kind of uh, indulgent feels kind of weird to comment in my own place. But when I do the others, I feel excited. I feel uh, 
sad uh, based on their plays, and then I feel the agony of the people who almost had the win of each one. So I st started this channel, and there are a few uh, pilot episodes I've done, so you can check that out. The editing part has kind of been tough on my end, but I've been learning a lot about the editing, putting thumbnails, point overlay text overlays instant replays i just learned that in a month of doing these videos and that as you see on the pilot episodes it's been progressing on that one now i won't be the greatest editor on my end but i've been trying to do that to, to uh to build out these videos not only for for my channel but for in the long term if anyone needs to do video editing of some sort and I'm not the best one, but I need to learn on my end. And uh, just to let you know, I am not leaving the recruiting space anytime soon. I'm, I I would still want to keep my day job. I still enjoy recruiting, still enjoy talent acquisition, still enjoy sourcing. So I'm not leaving that space anytime soon. This is just be, be my side job, like Uber or Lyft, but without the uh, the creepiness, essentially. It's basically the old, uh, if you remember the show Ed, basically Ed Stevens was a boring alley lawyer. Two different things. He was a boring alley owner and a lawyer. Me? I'm an arcade commentator recruiter. Arcade commentator recruiter. Two different things. So, uh, whatever platform you're watching at, uh, please subscribe to Claw by Claw. Uh, now, this will be the only time I'll probably promote this uh, site. Uh, so just uh, subscribe, like some of my videos. There's definitely room for improvement on that end, but that's always going to be with different shows. Is that this there has been improvement, so I'm doing that. But I really want to do this and want to basically yeah you know, just have some fun during this crazy times we we're doing right now. So subscribe to Claw by Claw. Uh, click on the links either on the screen or on the description I did, whatever platform you're watching at right now. Also for this channel, uh, it'll, it'll still be random. I'll still do my plays and put them on on my on my personal channel, and I'll do some unboxing as well, and also some other things if I have the time to do it. Um, that's essentially it. But there's, some, and you will see some call by call episodes on my channel. Uh, these are the longer episodes. And I will still keep them there, but it will be deleted after August 31st. So just letting you know, call by call will start on Friday, September 4th with new episodes. The, the ones are, the videos that are on right now on the site is just basically pilot episodes. I'm just trying to test on on titles, new uh, a new opening format, thumbnails, editing, and instant replay and voice overlay. That's basically what those pilot episodes were just a test of. And then here, I'll just post whatever I feel like it. All right, so that's uh, what I'm doing now. Uh, hope you're staying safe. Uh, wear your mask when you go out. Yeah, and. I'll hopefully see you in the next time.